Ladies and gentlemen, welcome back to a new episode of Let's Play Kerbal Space Program. I made a small rocket design. We have new parts. We have... let me show you the new parts. In the last episode, we unlocked... let's see... Um, yeah, the photonic panels, which are basically solar panels, which recharge our batteries. We have science. We have the mobile processing lab, which is this big bad boy here in the center. And do we have something else? I think we also have the thermometer, which I I could apply one actually. Why not? Why not? Let's apply one just right here. No, just right here. Bloop. Sweet. Okie doke. So, I may introduce you to the Sizenda Mark 1. On the hunt for shinies, this rocket has been designed after a passionate researcher to find the shiniest spots in the universe. Dun dun dun. I basically told her that I will do a rocket out of her, or name a rocket after her, and it happened. After our big success with the Green Light Mark II in the last few episodes in which we reached the Mun and Minmus with this design, I now try to do this one. In the first place I wanted to do a Sputnik, but I was concerned because basically the mobile processing lab has two people in it. So with a Sputnik on top I couldn't bring the people back to Kerbal, basically. Which is Hold on a moment. Hold on, hold on, hold on. I could bring them back, actually. Oh my gosh. I need to redo the whole design. <laughs> no. no, we will go with this design for now. So, what I did basically is I have a little pot with a few solar panels just in case to keep the energy going and parachutes. I have a little rocket which is hidden in here. It is the propulsion. It's uh, the LV-909. This is just to get back on course into a shoot. Um, hmm. I just saw a flaw in my design. <laughs> Um, la la la. La la la. Do do do. do. There we go. <laughs> oh my gosh, this would have been... Ouch. There are two kerbals in here. I can show you. Here is... Nobody. Okay, I need to reassign them. Uh, but basically here are two kerbals and with the previous design I would have killed them basically and left them in space and this is not what we want. We want to bring them back bloody hell okay let's add some more parachutes because this thing is bloody heavy uh, how heavy are you well 3 to 5 heavy enough to add a tremendous and insane amount of parachutes where are my parachutes uh, utility boom yes Yes, perfect. So basically, when we, with this little rocket here, we will head back into Kerbal orbit, eventually. What is you? You're a rocket as well. Why do I have you at all? I could combine you and then... Anyways. Yeah, I messed, I messed it up. I messed it up, ladies and gentlemen. So let's see, what is you? Good fuel tank, so you're my engine. Which means I will 
happily combine the two of you. Uh, okay, I need to do it the other way around. You go away, you go away, you go away. Zack. Zack. Uh, and those are the same. There we go. So we decouple those. Here's a little bit of fuel. With this we go back into Kerbal Orbit eventually. And those should bring us out of the atmosphere and those should bring us beyond. If everything goes right. Let us quickly check. Yes, yes, yes. Uh, yes. Then this one. Uh, don't need this, don't need this. This is all ejected, and then basically we should be in sync again and launch those. Wonderful, amazing. <sighs> okay, crew. Let's get. Uh, let's get someone with a lot of courage for the pot, and let's get some super fantastic researchers like Firstus and Chatgun in order to make our research. Do, 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 do. Science. Oh, we have an antenna here as well, just to let you know. So we could essentially send this stuff back if we would want to. Ooh. Save again. Let's launch this rocket, shall we? I'm concerned that I will not be able to get outside of the atmosphere, basically. Because I don't know how heavy those are. So, the big parts. So, it is standing still, which is amazing. Uh, let's activate the SAS. Let's throttle up. Whew. And we will launch in 3, 2, 1. So far so good. It's a nice sunny day above Kerbal. We have a good amount of speed. I'm concerned that the tanks will be empty before we even reach the lower atmosphere here. And this is a very likely scenario from what I've seen so far. So we will need more boost. Yes, so the upper part seems to be a little bit heavy as well as those. Those are bloody heavy. And therefore you will not go very far. Okay, let's see. Separate, launch. This will not be enough, I believe, to go out of the atmosphere. Uh, no, the drag is going down. We're losing speed tremendously, so we need support rockets here. We need support rockets. Okay, I will put four rockets there, but we're still going up. And it seems like, oh, oh, we're gaining speed again. Oh my gosh, ladies and gents, we are gaining speed. We're gaining speed, but I don't think that, let's take a quick look at the map. I don't think that we're ooh, slowly, very, very, very slowly. Oh my gosh. Oh my god. Oh my god. I think we have just about enough speed. Oh my. Oh my. But we are slightly... Phew. Yeah, the atmospheric drag is... Very intense. Very intense. direction just to get just to have less drag on us and get more so we used the majority of our scene which is not good because this 
here should get us back and not beyond. Well, 30... We're getting somewhere. Uh, not looking good, ladies and gents, not looking good. This design obviously will not bring us into space. And especially not where we want to be. Which is quite sad. But this is why we make several attempts to bring us up. It's a complete new rocket sign. I never went for such a simplistic simplicity in terms of rocket. And there goes the speed. Whoops. Did something explode? No. Okay, we still have a little bit until we hit epilapses. Okay, let's see. Let's slightly adjust. Let's see if we can bring the Zyna Mark 1 at least into a stable orbit. Let's launch in... Let's wait a little bit, <coughs> 30 seconds, so let's launch just about at the apoapsis to get the maximum out of this. Just have 20 seconds to go. Okay, so we need more power. 14, 13, 12, 11, 10, 9, 8. I uh, don't think that this will be enough. Mm, no, no, we're going back down. No, okie doke, we need more power then. So let's shut the engine down real quick. Let's go, let's turn around. Turn around. Do 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 Ah, copyrighted material. I need to write whoever has the license for the song and ask if I can make some kind of fan singing. Oh god, singing? No. Uh, if I can make some sounds which sound equally like this. So let's go like here and slow down. This will eventually reduce the epilapses, yes. It will slowly stop us. What can you do? You're operational, which is cool. Oh, plus 10 value? Let's do this! As long as we are here. Yes! Yes! Keep the data. Oh, 50%, we eventually can do it before we are completely back in the atmosphere. You know what? Boom! That sends. Let's transmit the data. Ha! Huh? Sweet. Uh, we are just 20k above now. So, actually, and deploy! I hope they survive. <laughs> oh my gosh. Well, we have a lot of parachutes. We have bloody lot of parachutes. We have nine parachutes at all. Rabel is concerned. I'm concerned as well. Actually, we can deactivate this. Because you're fine for now. Process lab data. This is so sweet. This is so sweet. We gained a little bit of thing just because of this lab. This is so amazing.
So cool. I love this lab. I need this lab in space. This looks like a Death Star. This looks totally like the Death Star. Come on now. Is this Minmus or the Mun? I think it's the Mun. No. It's not. Is it the Mun? It's a little bit. It must be the Mun, to be honest. The Mun looks like a Death Star. Let's make a screenshot. Pew! Screenshot. Let's send this, let's tweet this screenshot to a corporate space program and ask if it was intentional that the man looks like a Death Star. So now I wonder, because basically those guys will go bloop 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 below the ocean. Let's speed a little bit up. Just to get down. Because we are so slow now, thanks to the parachute, which is amazing. And yeah. Unfortunately, I can't just skip this part here. Well, I could edit it out. Hmm, maybe. And we will do a small adjustment. We have 17 minutes in. Well, this was a failure. I will. And there we are. Safe and sound. I did process you, right? Yeah. Oops. Did I... Can I... No, I can't. You! Can you AFA out? Hatch is obstructed? Oh! Oh, did I... Oops! <laughs> Oops! Okie dokie. Blazing chance. Process lab data. Can we transmit it? Let's recover the vessel. Let's recover the vessel. We've got a little bit of science out of it. We have 40 science points. Um, 18 minutes in. We shall end the episode here. I will bring you back when I optimized the rocket design and hopefully this will bring us into space then. So see you next time. Bye!